Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Yesterday, I was in a webinar with one of my mentors, Randy Allen, was uh, doing it, and he used the new tool in 2023, which is the variable outline tool. So if we draw a three-point curve, and then we grab the variable outline tool, see the dots? Well, you can stretch with these handles and make it kind of like the artistic media tool. And then if you hold down the shift key, you can do one side or the other and not both sides. So you can make some pretty cool effect. But what he was doing, and well, let's back up here before we do that. Basically, if you go to view and wireframe, that is just a line. So what he was trying to do was show you how to cut this out. And if you select an item and hold down the shift key, and double click on your rectangle tool, it'll build a rectangle around this. Well, you can see that it's cutting through the line. It's not actually cutting through the line. It's doing what it's supposed to do because this is just a line. So if, you, if he would have shift selected both, gone up to object and converted the outline to an object. Now, if we look under wireframe, you see that and you get that. So we'll go to view, enhance. Now, if we select it all and hold down the shift key and hit a rectangle, you're gonna put a rectangle around that. And the reason you would do something like that, I do it all the time. If you're running a, a plaque, and let's make this quite a bit smaller, and you were gonna put this at the very corner of the plaque, and you wanted to make sure that it was so far off, you know, if the plaque had a beveled edge, you could run this as a vector file, vector cutting with your lid open and turn on your red dot pointer if you're fortunate enough to have one, and it'll draw a line where that item is going to be. It's real, real handy. Uh, let's say you have a plaque that is uh, this size, and right here is a knot hole and you don't want to hit that knot hole with your text or anything, if you put this here, well, that, you could actually run an outline and you could see that it wasn't going to cut. But you could actually, if you'll take this line and convert it to a curve and then add a node and maybe add another node and bring this over, and then add another node here, bring it like that, and have it, you do actually want to get rid of that line, have it, that's a red hairline, and it'll go around that knot hole, and you know that you're not going to engrave on it. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.